a credit card company that, that we work with who was really focused on acquiring new customers for one of their credit card lines. These folks really wanted to understand what their customers were doing when they weren't on their website. We know that consumers are three-dimensional and of course they're consuming content outside of those topics across the web, um, across different touch points all throughout the course of the day. So what our customer really wanted to dive into was a deep understanding of um, the type of content that their customers were consuming. And for them, what was truly critical was understanding the difference between um, what the consumers who would be approved for this credit card were consuming versus what consumers who were just shopping or considering this credit card would be consuming. They knew that being able to engage the consumers who would truly convert would improve the return on their marketing investment. What these folks used our tool to do was, very simply, pixel the correct outcomes on their website, the conversion outcome, and then leverage our customer intelligence tool within our DataZoo intelligence suite to overlay web behavior on top of the consumers who actually converted. What this meant is that our customer was able to understand which types of content out on the web the consumers who truly converted on their credit card offer uh, were consuming. And they found some truly interesting insights. Um, coming, into the, coming into the campaign, they had an assumption that their consumers would be looking at financial services content, they would be looking at careers content, potentially real estate content, and business content. And what they found was that three of the four were true. However, business content was not actually a, a type of content that, that consumers who apl successfully applied for their credit card were more likely to consume than the average user out on the web. Equally important, they were able to identify types of content that true converters were less likely to be consuming. For example, they found that content about hobbies, about food and dining, um, and about health and fitness were low propensity types of content for their converters, which, which meant they knew what not to invest in, which is of course equally as important as knowing what to invest in. So uh, at the end of the day, they were able to use the data on uh, which types of content their converters were more likely to consume and less li likely to consume to generate a strategy that let them buy media that would ultimately be more likely to help them engage the right profile of consumer and invest away from the wrong profile of consumer.